Dennis, how you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm all good, mate. You? Yeah, good. I hear you've just been testing out your uh, your ringwear for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. It's a ritual I do every time. I always uh, try it on. You caught me in the moment. <laughs> I love those shorts, man. Which, when did you get them made? I wore them once my second fight, and uh, they look uh, quite lucky shorts. So I'll get another victory in them again tomorrow. Excellent. And we're here in your hotel room, which I've got to say. Isn't much isn't much bigger than mine. I was expecting you in some presidential suite or something. Nah, no, no, listen, I'm, I'm only plain Jane. And I don't, I don't, I don't mind as long as I, go, I can go sleep in that bed. I'm happy. Yeah, and 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 then we're just looking across. You got the you got your your food over there. Got the munchies. Wonka bar, I can see. Um, some yeah. Crunchy nut cornflakes. So yeah, I mean, fair to say that after the weigh-in, you 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 put it you pile it on, don't you? I tried to, didn't I? I'm a lot bigger the next day. A lot, lot bigger and rehydrated properly and stuff and. I do everything properly. I still that's the good thing about it. So I rehydrate properly. I uh, my diet is on point through camp. So that's it. And what do you do like between now and the fight? I see you've got a, a PlayStation over there, a PS4. I just chill out, put a bit of Fortnite on, don't I? Everyone sees you, you know, like baby face, you know, always mucking around, and 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 it's quite difficult for people to imagine that what you turn into in the ring. They don't take me seriously, do they? That's the problem. But uh, when I'm in that ring, it's just. I just I t- I switch the switch off. I put a different one on, and I'm I'm, a, I'm an animal in there, and that's it. That switch. When does it? When does it flick? Is it when you go? It, in I, that, as soon as I wake up in the morning, I'm a, I'm a different guy. I don't speak to no one. I just zone in. I think about the fight, and what I'm gonna do, and um, and it's not gonna be pretty. What I'm gonna do was that's about it. Yeah, well, you've had I think five KOs from seven, so you, there's, yep. there's six from eight you're looking for, I presume. Yep, yep, that's the plan. But I'm just gonna stick to me boxing. I'm not going to promise too much, you know what I mean? So stick to me boxing, and it'll come. I've got power in both hands. Uh, Pedro Matos, what do you know about him? He's not a bad kid. He's very tough. He lost for the European title by two points to Kademi, who's a Frank Roman fighter. And um, he fought Sonny Edwards. Obviously, Sonny Edwards, uh, they've done a number on him, done a good job on him. And um, I'm looking to chip away at him and do a very good job tomorrow night. Excellent. His nickname's number one. Number one, isn't he one number one here? And I told him that today. <laughs> he won number one. <laughs> Do it's, you me, f- it's me, I said. <laughs> but every time we put something of you on social media on BT Sport, as you know, it absolutely flies. So like footage of you fighting. Why, why do you think people are so interested in you, given that you're not like a household name? Well, I, listen, I'm a likeable guy. I, I, um, I've got time for all my fans and... Uh, but I'm a, I'm a very exciting fighter, and, and that's a lot what in England, not, there ain't a lot of exciting fighters like me. I've got power on both hands. I've, I'll always find a way to win. I don't care who it is, I'll, I'll always find a way to win. And um, I just think I'm different class to all these fighters. I'm Frank's my own fighter, in, in my opinion, a thousand percent. Yeah, I mean, do you, do you see it as your duty to entertain people? Yeah, I do, because I think people spend their hard earned money to, to watch me on TV. And um, I put everything into camp. I don't cut no corners, so I feel like I need to give them, give them the the money. The money's worth enough. Yeah, and well, you do that because I mean, you, you know, I know that your family life is very important to you, and you're obviously away from your fairly new wife. Um, how how is married life? How's that going? Yeah, very good. We get on really well, thank God. And uh, she's part of the journey, definitely. And I think a good man needs a good woman in his life, so I think we're getting on really well. And but it might, what what I'm saying is it must be quite a wrench to, to to leave her behind you know when you have to you know put on your game face. Of course, but she knows it's part of the job. But she's part of the journey, she, even through camp. And that, when I'm feeling a little bit tired, she drives me sparring, and she does. Uh, she goes through the middle a bit herself. So she uh, she she does a lot for me. Thank God. Yeah, I'm, I'm very lucky. And uh, is she going to come along tomorrow? Yep, she oh. she'll be there tomorrow cheering me on. Well, that's good at least because obviously the situation before you weren't allowed like anyone in any family, any 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 relatives. So that must have been quite tough for you because you you like to put on a show for fans, don't you? Yeah, of course. Listen, it's tough for the whole world, isn't it? But you got to get on with it. It is what it is, isn't it? And um, it's just I love I love getting cheered on and stuff. But the guy in the other corner, he's, he's going to try and take your head off. So you got to switch on. You ain't got a point. You ain't got a choice, have you? Yeah, no, that's very true. Um, just before we go, I, I saw an interview with you recently where you said you started getting into boxing at three years old, um, going into the gym where your brother was fighting. Yeah, yeah, I was about four years old I was there. And then um, I was a proper little rebel I was. <laughs> just shaved people's eyebrows off. I'd wait for them to go to sleep and shave their eyebrows off and we went away like 
I used to always go away with him when, when I was boxing, you know what I mean? My older brother was very, very good, and um, he was national champion as well. Just didn't stick to it. And, um, but it was an absolute nuisance it was. A menace, as they call me, a menace. <laughs> I was just going to say, yeah, you that, you earned that nickname by right, I think. But... Um, as we touched on earlier, I mean that's the that's 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 the fun side of you, and that's why I mean I've seen you with your trainer as well. When you're when you're when you're, you're training, you always try and clip him when he's not looking. Don't yeah, you? <laughs> only to the body, not to the chin though. He's too old to hit man in the chin. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but yeah, we, so we, like I say, we are we are seeing the, the the fun side of you tonight. But tomorrow, obviously, different ball game. Different ball game. Well, I wouldn't be laughing, joking in this interview tomorrow. No, but um, the, the switch will be turned on tomorrow, and I'm, I'm feeling very confident. I'm feeling very good. I just absolutely cannot wait, honestly. And this is a sort of same tired old question we ask people, um, but I'm going to ask you anyway. So a year from now, wh where would you like to be? What level do you think you'd like to be fighting I'd have at? a couple of titles around my waist, 1,000%. And I'll be taking a few unbeaten names, which I can take now for one. But um, listen, as I said, I'm 19 years old. I'm still a baby in the sport of boxing. And Frank knows that. He's a very, very clever man. He's been around the game for years. And um, also MTK, my management as well, to guide me the right path. Excellent. And people should tune in tomorrow night. Why? Tune in tomorrow night, mate, because you're going to see an absolute devastating performance.